In all of our previous examples, every single term has been positive. So we're going to talk about how do you contend with negative numbers with that similar example to what we did before. And we're also going to comment on a different way we can approach some other part of this problem as well. So our first observation, this is going to be our second enumerated rule that we've talked about before, which is when bounding above, bounding above, drop negative terms. Meaning, if we remove that negative term, just stop writing it down, the whole expression will end up being bigger. We were subtracting something from it. By not writing down that negative thing, we clearly make it bigger. 58 minus 4 is definitely smaller than 58, because we removed 4 from it. That's the exact same reasoning we're doing here. So, using those two rules, we're going to replace all lower order terms with equivalent higher order terms, and drop all negative terms. So, given the expression that we started with, log base 4 of 4n squared minus 5n plus 8. We bound it above. We see a negative term appearing here. So let's do that rule first. We drop the negative term and we're left with 4n squared plus 8. Now we'll apply our second, our first rule that we learned, which is that we replace that lower order term, 8, with an equivalent higher order term, 8n squared. And just like before, we're going to comment off to the side that 8 less than or equal to 8n squared, so long as 1 less than or equal to n, or n greater than or equal to 1, however you want to write that down. We then collect together our like terms, just like we did in the previous problem. We are now in the exact same territory we were before. So, this is less than or equal to log base 4 of 12n squared. I'm going to show you an alternative way that you could have approached this problem. Before, what we did is we split that log up and then used a bunch of log rules, then replaced some things and went through some more steps. There's actually a much faster way to do this, which is if you observe, 12n squared is eventually less than or equal to n cubed. n cubed is a larger power of n, therefore it grows faster than n squared. If I do algebra here, we can see that verified. This is if I divide by n squared, 12 less than or equal to n, or n greater than or equal to 12. So, so long as n greater than or equal to 12, I can make that replacement. So let's write when, and maybe just for the sake of sanity, we're going to switch the inequality and write it as n greater than or equal to 12. I can make that substitution. We replace the 12n squared with n cubed. And now what I can do is I can bring the three out front, that same type of log rule we used before, bringing an exponential out front as multiplication. And we get 3 log base 4 of n. So, just like before, the original expression is bounded above by a constant times our given function, log base 4 of n. And again, if we want to comment on what c and n naught are, we have c is equal to 3. And in this case, n naught is different. It's 12. Therefore, our conclusion is that the given function, log base 4, of 4n squared minus 5n plus 8 is in big O of log base 4 of n as well. So we learned two things in this example. One, when you have negative terms and you're bounding above, just remove them. It will make your expression bigger and more convenient to deal with. Two, sometimes with logs, there's more than one way to deal with them. The first example, we used log rules, then bounded more. In this case, we bounded more and then used log rules. Both of those approaches will work in general. You just need, it does not really matter the order particularly much.